Hey guys, I'm Amarad and today we will talk about ground effects. Now, in case you don't know what are ground effects for, they are the most commonly known for spawning or, gen or generating models on top of terrain textures. So what you can see here, this grass, this is actually a product of ground uh, effect, but there are more things ground effects can do. Actually, when you are running over textures, uh, sometimes you get footprints, sometimes you can see flying particles around and this is especially true to, for example, snow. When you are running over snow textures, you can see footprints, you can see particles and you can hear actually sound of, uh, of feet running over snow. Now, how do you set this? All of this is part of ground effect. Uh, now, when you are creating new map or custom map, you obviously don't have ground effects there. When you are modding uh, some blitz-like maps, uh, there are ground effects already applied. And maybe you want to edit them there, maybe you want to remove them, maybe you want to edit them. In this case, I am remaking Duskwood. This is Duskwood and I am changing it into a completely different zone with completely different textures and different models. So this grass doesn't match my new textures. So I will want to change this grass into something else. Okay, uh, so that's what I want or need to do in this case. So I will need to change ground effects. So let's get to it. I will show you how to change uh, ground effects and then I will make also a level design video about how to make ground effects look as good as possible. Although I will give you some tips in, in this video. Uh, so we can close game client and the first thing you will need to do is actually going to Nugget and uh, opening our ADT here so we can take a look at the textures and what is and at what is actually here around. Uh, press X, open texture palette and uh, we will want uh, to use texture palette because it actually shows us how path to selected texture. So when you control and click on terrain and select some texture, uh, you can see actually name of the texture. Uh, so what I always do is that I make whole list of all textures which I'm using on my map and uh, I write that list down into some uh, notepad. Uh, that's quite handy. Uh, you will see why a little bit later. So I've got all my textures which are used on my ADT written down. Uh, I haven't uh, marked down textures from uh, from neighbor zones because I won't want to change ground effects on those textures. So basically make a list of textures you want to apply ground effects on. And these ground effects, like I said, ground effects aren't just uh, generating models. They are producing also sounds and so on. So even textures like road should always, always have some ground effect on them. Even if that ground effect is just producing sounds, that's still ground effect which should be applied even to road, even while you don't want to have any models generated atop that road texture. Uh, so we've got our list of textures and what I have done then is that I have grouped them. So you can see that this one is alone, this one is alone, this is pair of textures, this is pair of textures. So I will use the same uh, ground effect on multiple textures. I will use one ground effect for this texture, one for this texture. I will use one ground effect for these two textures, the, the same one for those two, and the same goes here. One ground effect for these two textures because they are very similar. As you can see, for example, that grass one and grass three, they are very similar. So I will use the same ground effect for both of them. That's what I want to do. So this is what I have done so far. I have written those textures down and I have grouped them by ground effects. Uh, now we will get to DBCs. So we can close our map and we can open WDBX editor and we will need uh, two or actually three DBCs. We will need ground effect texture, ground effect due date and terrain type DBC, those three DBCs. Uh, now when you go to ground effect due date DBC, uh, you will find out that it's quite straightforward VBC is just a list of models with IDs assigned to those models. And there is some flag, but honestly, I don't know anyone who knows what are those flags for. They are used apparently only for Raf or Deutsch King ground effects, and I don't know what they are doing. So these flags, you can use one or zero. It shouldn't really matter at all. 
Uh, now, where are those models from? Well, all of them are actually from the very same folder. They are from world, no DXT, detail, and here is whole list of all ground effect dudes which are in World of Warcraft. They are all in this one folder. So if you want to use any model as ground effect uh, dudet, or as, if you want to have any model generated by ground effect, you need to copy it or move it or place it into this huge full of shit directory, basically. That's what you need to do. Uh, now, if you are retroporting some model or creating some model or moving some model here, uh, it is most likely that this model isn't in DBC yet. So let's say that you want to use, for example, Holding Fjord models. You can see, by the way, that those models are divided into uh, groups by their names. Uh, so uh, HOF means Holding Fjord. So you can kind of find out uh, from where is which model by its name, sort of, to some extent. So let's say that you want to use uh, Holding Fjord models for our zone. So right click and save and just control C. This is the probably the easiest way how to get models name into clipboard. And then I go to ground effect due to DBC, press control F and search for that model. So I can see that this model is already here in this DBC. So I will just write down its ID, 662. Now you can pick up to four models for every single ground effect. You, If you don't want to use any ground uh, effect, so for example, or any models, for example, for those cobblestones, I don't want, that's road uh, texture, I don't want any models on my road. So I won't have any models here but for dirt for example let's say they let's say that i want to use some uh, models on dirt or even more likely let's say that i want to use those models actually here on my grass textures so i will want to use this model on my grass textures now one model isn't really that much and what you can do is use up to four of them so let's use this one as well. So it again save, control C, control F, control V, and find this one. Okay, it's 663. And this is the way how you would find IDs of models you want to use. Now, if you don't find your model in this DBC, or maybe possibly or most likely because you have created new model or retroported some, you need to obviously add it here. That's as simple as this, just create new record, copy modus name here with MDX extension. Remember, it's DBC into DBC, always MDX extensions for modus. And now you can use 800 as well, like this. Okay, so just write down IDs of modus uh, you want to use for every single ground effect you will want to create. Now, when you've got those lists uh, done, uh, you can move to ground effect texture dbc ground effect texture dbc uh, starts with id uh, so you just create a new one 80000 for example that's the one i want to i want to create i always keep using uh, custom ids i can remember easily and i can just write already down here that this ground effect for these two textures will have this ID. So I don't have to remember it. Uh, that's why I am making these notes. So I can write it down here and I don't forget it. Uh, 80,000 will be my grass uh, ground effect. Uh, as I have said, you can use up to four dudettes or up to four models and those are here. Dudet ID and those are these dudet IDs. I have written down here, so 662, 663, and I've got two empty slots left, and let's say that I want to just uh, keep them empty. I want to use only two doodads, that's perfectly fine. Maybe you want to use four doodads, you would have all four filled up, or maybe you don't want to use any, uh, any doodad whatsoever. In that case, you would just leave it empty. And that's probably what I will actually do as well. So I can show you that it works. 
I will make a new ground effect which is without DBS and I will show you what it looks like in game then. Uh, so I've got my dudettes selected for some reason. This has disappeared, never mind that. Uh, so I've got my uh, dudettes selected. Now wait, uh, those are those four values here, those are weight values for those four dudettes. Uh, you've got 16 points you can uh, divide between your models. So we've got 16, so we can do something like this, 16 and zeros. Or we can do something like this, 6 and 10. So we've got 6 points added to, assigned to this model, 10 points assigned to this model, or we can just make it equal, 8 and 8. What are weights for? Well, they are just a uh, changing chance of these models being used. So, for example, if I use weight 1 and 15, this means that this model has weight 1 and this model has weight 15. So, this model will get used way, way more often than this one. If I use 8 and 8, so weight is equally uh, distributed between those two, well, in this case, those models will be used equally often. So I will see the same amount of these models as these models. That's what it is for. Uh, now, there comes density. And density is something a little bit, by the way, uh, about weight. You can see that this is one record where weight is actually 100, of uh, 425. This is the only record in the whole Rough Odorch King which has something like this. This is very weird ground effect, just ignore those 25s here, okay? As you can see, weights are actually quite often, there isn't a 16 weight uh, at all. They usually just use 1, 1, 1, 1, and that works as well. So if you want to have equal distribution between those two do that, you can just use something like this. It will work as well. Uh, moving on to density. Density is just how big amount of, of do that will you get overall. Uh, as we are using do that for this ground effect, we will need to choose some density. Uh, density is often something like 5 or 8. If you want to get very dense grass, if you want to have a large amount of grass, set the density to something like 16 or perhaps even 20. Or perhaps even try 24, but around 24 it is already uh, starting to make a little bit different effect. I will talk about that effect in level design video. Uh, but usually 20 is just okay, or, or 16 even. Uh, sound. Sound is incorrect name actually, because it is supposed to be terrain type uh, ID. Now terrain type DBC, as you can see, contains multiple terrains, dirt, metallic stone and so on. And what this actually does is that it assigns some, type, some kind of sound to the texture. So when you are running over the texture, it is making either metallic sounds or sandy sounds and so on. Uh, so this is why you would want to assign some sort of ground effect to every single texture you've got on your map because you don't want to uh, have uh, users completely deaf. That's what you don't want to have. So if you just use basic uh, uh, basic terrain ID zero, you will get dirt. Uh, but it's quite likely that you will want to use another one. Uh, so just for the sake of testing here, I will use snow. So that's uh, terrain ID 3 actually. So let's say that our grass is actually snow and assign uh, ID 3. Now for my road ground effect uh, I will use uh, something different. I will use stone. So terrain ID is 2. So these are two examples of two ground effects. One is for generating dudettes, two dudettes in equal amount with quite high density and which assigns a snow uh, terrain type. So snow terrain type, uh, as you can see, it actually is producing some particles, some particle effects here. And as you can see here, it is actually uh, creating uh, footprints. Only sand and snow terrain types are producing footprints on ground.
So that's the first ground effect, and the second ground effect doesn't generate any uh, any due dates whatsoever, but it is producing sound. So now I can save this, and now the last part assigning those uh, ground effect uh, those ground effects to AEDs. So I will just update my DBC here. I have changed only ground effect texture in the end. And just move on to uh, project folder, to world, maps, Azeroth in my case. ADT was 3152. So just pick, text, pick ADT you want to assign ground effects to. And just open it like this in ground effect adder. Ground effect adder is in my tool pack, in map, in ground effects, ground effect adder here. So we can just open ADT in it like this. And this command line will appear, and you will get asked uh, to assign uh, ground effect IDs to different textures. Now, I have some textures from neighbor uh, zone on my ADT, so I don't want to change those, because I am not changing neighbor zone. So I will just keep uh, dudettes, or rather ground effect, which is already on the texture, so I don't want to change this one. I want to change this one, I believe, yes, I want to. By the way, this was 80,001. So let's use 80,001 for pebbles as well, just, or, or not, just use zero, okay. If you use zero, it means remove or don't assign anything at all, something like that. Dust good crop, I don't want to use any ground effects on it. Crop, Elvin, Dirt Face. Okay, let's don't change it. Elvin, don't change Elvin. I don't want to change anything. Elvin, Cobblestone. That's my road. So Okay, so my road is here. So 80,001 is the one which is going there. Now we can see why I am making those notes, by the way, because I wouldn't be able to remember this at all. Or it would be quite hard. Okay no ground effect to dirt because I haven't created ground effect for my dirt yet. Uh, rock is the one. And grass is this one. And another grass, this one yet again. Westfall, no, can change that. And it is done. So ground effects were now updated on this ADT. Now I can... Now this is quite a tedious task, obviously, because you would have to do this for every for every single ADT on your map, one by one. Sadly, there is no better tool at the moment. I will perhaps create or try to create uh, some more better working tool in the future, but for now, this is the only way of doing this kind of thing, sadly. So we have updated our DBC, we have changed our ADT and now when I am on my map you can see that ground effects survey aren't here anymore they have disappeared from uh, dirt and so on but we've got our ground effect here on grass so this is density I believe 16 I think yes this is density 16 and you can see those two do that we have picked those purple and orange flowers from uh, Holding Fjord, which are now on my grass textures. And you can even see that while I'm running over that grass, you can see those snow particles. So terrain type works uh, correctly as well. So particles are being generated as well. And there should be even footprints, although they aren't really visible at all. I hope they are there. They should be there. Maybe they don't work. Uh, I, I, per, I perhaps just can't see them, whatever. But you can see that ground effects work. When I get to a road, you perhaps can't really hear that. You probably can't hear it in video, but I can actually hear that there are uh, sounds of feet uh, going uh, over rock when I am walking over that road here. So this is what I wanted. So it works correctly as I wanted to. So that's how ground effects work. That's how you create them and change them and assign them to your LEDs.
So thanks for watching guys. I hope this was useful for you that you can create a beautiful, amazing ground effects because as you can see, ground effects are very, very important in map. Uh, because you obviously probably don't want to have something like this. So I hope this was useful for you. And as always guys, happy morning.